Ask a person to name a sports sedan and the first answer likely will be a BMW 3 Series. The 3 Series is practically synonymous with the segment itself and has long been a favorite with consumers and critics alike. Taking a look at this year's lineup, you might also think that at some point the car will become synonymous with variety too. So let's go ahead and check out this 2015 BMW 3 Series. Now here goes the key fob for the vehicle. As you can see it's a typical BMW smart key here. You have your unlock, your lock, and to release your trunk. Now this generation 3 series was actually introduced in the 2012 model year. And then the 4 series was actually introduced in the 2014 model year. And then the M3 is introduced in the 2015 model year. Now our model we have here is the 328i and it's pretty well equipped. It has many luxury goodies and it has navigation on it. But only subtle changes to standard and optional equipment are in store for this 2015 model year. Most notably Bluetooth audio connectivity is now standard across the model line and heated front seats, a navigation and a sunroof may be ordered as a standalone options. Now as far as styling goes on the vehicle, I think it's quite handsome in its own way and it has a classic sports sedan type of look and it doesn't have a swoopy design like how you'll find on other cars nowadays like Kias and Hondas, but it's just really sharp looking I have to say. And then of course you have the twin Kinney grille design here, a classic BMW trait. But overall I really like the styling a lot of this 3 Series and then especially if you get the LED daytime running lights that look really good in my opinion. Now it is a alpine white exterior color with a black Dakota leather interior. Power driver seat with power recline, power lumbar and two person memory. Now stepping on into the vehicle here, it's very BMW familiar inside of this cabin design here. And then the step in height is also fairly low, we have to keep it that way, it's a sports sedan. But you're actually greeted with a very high quality design here. Very luxurious, especially with the wood grain too. Now you do have push bend ignition, just put your foot on the brake and hit the bend to start of course. Of course you do have a full leather wrapped steering wheel. Now coming to your transmission you have an 8 speed shiftable automatic. Of course in typical BMW fashion up for reverse, down for drive and then you do have manual shiftability of course and then push for park, easy as that. And then when you put the vehicle into reverse displays your rear view camera with guidance lines and trajectory. And then you can also change different settings for the rear view camera including the brightness, the contrast, and if you want the parking aid lines on or off or, and the obstacle markings. And then you also do have front and rear parking sensors. And then coming to your different driver selectable modes, you have your sport mode and your eco pro mode which I will get to later in the video. And let's go ahead and turn on the lights and the hazards too. All windows are fully automatic in the 3 Series. And let's go ahead and pop up the hood and check out the engine bay. Heated exterior mirrors with LED turn signal indicators. You also do have these pretty handsome looking, pretty unique looking too, 18 inch alloy wheels. They are the sport wheels with M Sport brakes. Halogen headlights with your halogen fog lights. Very mean and aggressive looking. Now under the hood you have a very refined and very fuel efficient 2 liter inline 4 cylinder twin power turbo producing 240 horses at 5000 RPM 
with 255 pound-feet of torque at 1250 RPM. Now, it also earns very respectable EPA numbers of 23 in the city and 35 on the highway. Now, essentially, there are many powertrains you can get on the 3 Series. Now, your base powertrain is going to be what is called the 320i, which is equipped with a 2-liter 4-cylinder turbo. And then you have the 328i, like how we have here, which is equipped with these, this 2-liter 4-cylinder twin power turbo. And then you have the 328 diesel engine, which is equipped with a 2-liter 4-cylinder turbo diesel. And then you have the 335i, which is equipped with a 3-liter inline 6-cylinder turbo. And then you have the Active Hybrid 3, which is equipped with a 3-liter inline 6-cylinder turbo. And that is a hybrid, of course. Now, also, you can get all-wheel drive on all of these models. And then, of course, you have everybody's favorite, the M3, which is equipped with a 3-liter inline 6-cylinder twin power turbo, and that comes with a 6-speed manual. Now, as for the more common engines, the 320i is pretty punchy, but the 328i is a very desirable upgrade model. The 6-cylinder 335i might seem like overkill at this point, but its huge wallop of power and distinctive inline 6 sound still make it the best choice for those wanting the top sports sedan experience. In reality though, there really isn't a bad apple in the bunch when it comes to driving. One annoyance can be the gruff for start nature of the automatic engine start stop function, though it can be disabled. Now, competitors of the BMW 3 Series are in the sports sedan class. Now you have its German competitors, the Mercedes-Benz C-Class, as well as the Audi A4. And then you also do have its Japanese competitor, the Lexus IS. And then you also have its American competitor, the Cadillac ATS. Now the BMW 3 Series has always been a top choice in the sports sedan class. Now, pricing of the 3 Series starts at the 320i model, which starts at $32,750. Then you have the 28i, which starts at $37,400. And then the 335i, which starts at $43,500. And then the 328d, which starts at $38,900. And then the hybrid, which starts at $49,000. $900. And then the M3 also costs just around $63,000. Now essentially there is also a coupe body style of the 3 Series available, but that is called the 4 Series. And then you also do have the 4 Series convertible. But the 3 Series only comes in a sedan. Very streamlined looking German tail lights, rear window defroster, and like I said, you do have rear parking sensors as well, and rear reflectors, and a little shark fin antenna on the top. Now, like I said, EPA estimates are 23 in the city and 35 on the highway. Total vehicle price is $46,800 for this particular 3 Series. Power windows, power mirrors, of course, your power door locks are located up on the dash. Nice soft touch armrest, of course, what you would expect from a luxury vehicle. Soft touch mid door panel and upper door panel, too. And let's go ahead and rev it up.
Now, as far as build quality and materials go inside of this vehicle here, build quality, of course, is excellent. What you would expect from a German luxury car. Everything is very well put together, of course. Materials are also exquisite, too. Everything is soft touch and the highest of quality. Everything just feels very solid in this car. I love this car, how it, everything is just very well put together. However, what I'm noticing here is that a common trend nowadays in cars, especially inside of their cabins, is that they will have stitching on the dash and just stitching everywhere. However, BMW doesn't like to do that. I noticed that. Unless if it's on their very high-end cars like the 7 Series, they'll put stitching on the dash. But this one doesn't have that. As well as another German manufacturer doesn't like to put a whole lot of stitching in their cars is Audi. But, yeah, I'm just really noticing that here. Now coming to the steering wheel design, I think the steering wheel design is getting slightly dated, I have to say. However, I do love it when you get the sport steering wheel. The M steering wheel looks much better. But this one is just getting a little dated for my taste. You have your cruise control buttons over here, and then you have your voice recognition and steering wheel mounted audio controls. A manual tilting and telescoping steering wheel. Not powered, but it is optional. Up here you have an auto dimming rear view mirror with garage home link, integrated compass, your interior illumination lighting, of course your sunroof with your sunroof controls and SOS safety connect. Now coming to the center stack controls here, the center stack controls are very easy to use and I love how the controls are facing a little more towards the driver and it's pretty easy to figure out and German cars are usually not this way but this 3 series has very simple controls you have your fan speeds right here and then your different zones you have dual zone automatic climate control too heated front seats as well and then here's your temperatures pretty easy to use very easy to figure out then down here you have your cup holders and a little storage cubby right there and then right here you have your parking sensors button and then your traction control off and then you have your different driver selectable modes your e-brake is also located right there love this wood grain interior trim pretty small center console storage I have to say but you do have a USB port and auxiliary input pretty soft touch armrest very high quality now one pretty advanced technology you do have is the automatic start stop system. Basically when you come to a complete stop, the engine will actually shut off to save fuel. Thankfully you can actually turn that off, but it can be very intrusive when you turn it on on a day to day basis. Now there is many options of the 3 series like lane departure warning, forward collision warning, many safety technologies available. Now the 2015 3 Series delivers the best all-around driving experience in the entry-level luxury sedan class. The ride is very smooth and quiet no matter which driveline, wheels, and tires you choose, which is actually getting kind of rare nowadays because usually on vehicles nowadays, if you step up to bigger wheels or bigger tires, the ride will, the ride will get harsher. But that is not the case here with the 3 Series. So the car is very fantastic for road trips no matter which drivetrain you choose or tires or rims. Now for traditional BMW driving enthusiasts, the steering will likely be the weakest link in this package. Most consumers will find it very precise, but it does lack the detailed feedback that made older BMWs feel so special. Also the dynamic steering option is often criticized for a response that is out of sync with the driver's input, making the car's responses sometimes difficult to predict. Now as far as the seats go, the seats are also very supportive, nice soft headrests, and then the side bolstering is also pretty good too. Lots of thigh support as well. Overall the seats are very comfortable for a long road trip or if you're going around those twisty canyon roads. Now as far as visibility goes inside of this vehicle here, visibility is exquisite. Lots of glass area all around. Outward visibility is also pretty good too. And the rearward visibility is also pretty good as well. Lots of glass area. I love the visibility of the 3 Series. Now coming to the gauges here, BMW fans will feel right at home when it comes to the instrumentation. I love the red lighting around the gauges as well. And then 
down there is where that center screen is where you will find your exterior temperature readout, your trip odometer, as well as your fuel range, and then you have your digital clock right there. And then it also displays what driving mode you're in, like your comfort, your sport, and your Eco Pro.